So there's nothing like a good old air establishing a database connection call from your client. Um, they happen for no reason. Um, if you are a HostGator customer, uh, you may want to call them and roll back for $25 the database. They keep a copy of it. But sometimes, you know, you find out about it and then they, you know, overwrite <laughs> Uh, the good backup with the new backup that's wrong and you're screwed. So I, I've always been a, a, you know, I'm a front end guy, a designer and not really a coder. So I'm going to teach you how to easily do this, um, you know, without, and so far it's worked every time. Um, I've followed the instructions on um, HostGator. Let's see, they're right here. If you need them, I'll put the link in the bottom. I've had both of these airs. Um, in websites and what I'm about to do fixes it. It's actually very easy if you know your control panel. So let's dive in and then uh, try to fix this site. So as you can see, I'm getting a error database connection here. I've went into the uh, main control panel and uh, I'm typing my for my SQL. Um, then you want to select this um, <clears throat> widget here and uh, Let's uh, follow the instructions on on HostGator to make this a little easier. I wish I could make, you know, I always am known for making my videos short, but this is really short. I could probably do it in a minute, but you have to watch it a few times. So um, I don't know about repair and check database. What I do know is um, you can create a new name. So I'm going to put a password in here. And any of you uh, thinking that you'll uh, bust this site, I'm going to change the password right after this so don't even worry about that or covering it up or blurring it so i'm going to put in the password here and what you do is you create a user okay so essentially what we're going to do is create another user for the database and hopefully that fixes the database so i'm going to create the user okay i'm not going to save this password i'm going to go back and then the next thing you want to do um i skipped this last time is you wanna add that user <clears throat> to a database, okay? So I'm just gonna hit add, and then you're gonna to wanna to say all privileges. And uh, let's see here, make changes right under there. Perfect, and then I'm gonna go back, okay? Now, um, the next thing you're gonna do, <laughs> right? is it gets a little complicated, I know, but let's get back into that uh, database. We're gonna go back here, I'm gonna open this up, and then I'm gonna go into the file manager, okay? Now, um, I want the WP config file, all right? So WP config, um, and this is where a lot of people get stuck as well because you can't find this thing. So it's in the public HTML here. Um, but, so if I go over here to public HTML, I should be able to see it. Um, if you don't see it, there it is, WP config. There's some settings over here, okay? And then these settings, a show hidden files needs to be checked. If it's not checked, you're screwed. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Um, for whatever reason, I'm getting a lot of these on my site, so I almost have this memorized for I don't know how many years of web development, two decades. I'm finally having to deal with this head on, and you know, it's not that bad. So um, here we go. We're going to go into the WP config file, and we're going to edit it. I'm going to hit edit right here. Um, I'm going to hit edit right here. Um, then I'm going to go down in the code. Again, I'm not a coder. And... Uh, Let's see here, we're going to, I'm gonna change the password. Now again, I've already changed the password. I'm gonna change the password right after this. Uh, I just had to remember it. So, don't try to hack me. Um, and then I'm going to um, change the database name. I'm not gonna change, I wanna make sure that that's the same database name is up here, which it is. And then I want to change the user. Um, this is the username is, I think, Micah, right? So we're going to go back and check that lowercase Micah. Okay. I'm just going to go back here and double check this. Yep. User, SML, real Micah, 
Let's just make sure SML, real mica, SML. Okay, everything's good there. Now I'm going to hit save changes. Okay, and now hopefully we're ready for that magic moment to hit refresh here and uh, it works. Let's see. If not, we're going to have to isolate some database things. And there you go. Boom. Uh, it worked. And I didn't even have to go in here. Let me show you. The other thing, sometimes that happens, and you probably want to try first before you start trying to repair the database, is uh, I'm going to close this out, is, um, oops, is uh, go ahead and make a, a new folder here. Let's see, where's our WP content? Um, I'm going to move this over. Let's see here um, in your public HTML. Another thing that works really great. So maybe you want to try this first. I just happen to know this was the problem um, is in your WP content folder. Create a, um, a new themes folder called old themes and a new plugins folder called old plugins and copy, you know, all these plugins over and then drag them one by one, you'll find the plugin that's causing the problem. Or let's just say you updated um, a plugin and it broke um, the site. Um, you can go back here, you know, move that plugin over. Um, this Flex MLS plugin sucks. It's always breaking. Um, and, you know, fix, fix the database or if it's a theme, you can uh, go in here and move all these themes um, out and move them all back in one by one. Um, and that's one way to isolate a problem, but that's how you fix the error database connection. It's worked every time. I haven't had to call uh, tech support at uh, HostGator. So I hope this video helps you. As always, I'm quick and to the point, not trying to draw you guys out for an hour to watch to increase my watch time, but I appreciate all the thankful, uh, thoughtful comments. Um, if, it's, if, it's, if I'm getting stuck on it, somebody else is getting stuck on it and I post it. So I'm not a monetized site. So anyway, I hope you, uh, uh, our monetized channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way and you're not staying up as late as me and doing this crap night.